Good morning, everybody, wherever you are in the world. It may be afternoon, it may be evening, but good morning to you and good evening and good afternoon. I am your host, Kim Warner. I want to discuss boundaries. I want to discuss boundaries and the fact that people are making resolutions for 2020. Well, my question is, Did you complete your resolutions for 2019? The other thing is, is while we're making resolutions, if you have not completed those from 2019 or 2011, you get my drift, then it's time to step into a season of understanding that you have to complete some things. Boundaries are set for a reason. When we go to the boundaries, that's one of mine, period, not for 2020 or um, 2021. It's mine for today because I realize that 2020 is another day that just takes us into a threshold of time that man has set. But before time was set by man, there was no dates and systems. The Mayans brought all of that up, okay? So I respect spirit. I respect spirit in the way that I am coming in and saying, what happened to the resolutions from last year for the people that I talked to? Did you complete them? Um, Kim, did you complete this? What is your self-analysis of yourself today? Uh, What are you taking into tomorrow that's going to better you? You see what I'm saying? Because one of the things that I find about people is they're on this traditional thing with the hype of the next year. If you didn't complete last year's uh, goals or 2011's and they really mattered, then you need to look at that because that means that the goals that you set for last year, 2011, etc., they didn't matter. Don't pick up goals when a new year is coming in. Take the goals that you had and continue them because they matter. That is if they're actually goals or If you're in the traditional way of setting um, a standard and saying, I'm changing this. No, change it, period. Not because it's 2020 coming. Change it because it's something that you see in yourself that you need to do. Maybe you're not going to deal with people that um, cross your boundaries. Maybe you don't keep them in a specific place because you know that you want to develop yourself. That's an ongoing daily thing. That means that every day you get up, someone may cross a boundary, but you set the record straight that that's not how it's going. How do they cross boundaries? Well, maybe, for example, somebody might yell at you or, um, yeah, let's just go with that. They may yell at you and you're like saying, I'm not hearing that anymore. And what you do is say, okay, we can talk this clearly. I think that most cases when people are yelling, it's because they've been brought up in that type of environment or it's because the other person is not listening. Well, if it was the environment, then you need to change that. I know what that's like because I've been in that type of environment and I've been that person. I like to keep a peaceful disposition about myself but when I find I'm talking with people and they won't listen they keep coming back to me my voice will escalate but then I'm going to set my boundaries and let you know you're not going to do this or that okay so those are examples what's another example for a boundary you guys can email me and let me know but mine are respecting my boundaries why because i understand the principles of respecting others right the principles of knowing that another person is a human being and that they deserve to be listened to or to be heard is true and to acknowledge what they're saying. That's part of my boundaries. So when I look at the boundaries that I set concerning myself and respect to others, I want everybody else that I work with to respect my boundaries. Maybe that's not clear. We have to teach one another, but boundaries are set so that we can have healthy lifestyles. That means that if you don't drink anymore, then nine times out of 10, you don't want to be around people that drink. Why? Because it can take you back into your past if you have alcoholism in your um, 
um, outline. If you are a drug addict, it can be boundaries where um, people or an ex-drug addict, a person that is um, doing crack, you cannot be around them anymore. Why? Because it triggers you. So a person that comes in with crack into your house, they're crossing your boundaries. I think we understand. My point is that 2020 is not the beginning of where things start for anyone by chance. If it is yours, then think about what I'm saying. Every day is a day to start new goals, but make sure that we completed the ones from um, the past that we set. Because if you didn't complete them in 2011 or 12 or 13, chances are you're not going to complete what you're talking about for 2020. Not to mention again that it is just another day. I mean, it's just like with Christmas. Um, people are saying love one another. We need to do that, period. We need to love each other, period. Unconditionally. No matter what happens, see the good in each other every day. Not pick it up on Christmas and then put it back in a closet as if it's a gift. That love. Keep that love flowing every day. You see? So, um, one of the scriptures that I actually, um, looked up for this morning, cause I have to do that every morning. Um, why? Because that's just how I function. Um, let's see, let me go back to it. Thank you, um, for your patience. I'm on, um, Instagram at inner wealth builders. And that's for our organization while I'm pulling it up. And um, I'm on um, Facebook at Kim Warner. So the scripture is John 2, um, 1 and 8. And it says, watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. So watch for yourself that we do not lose what we have. We're all in relationship together in this world. Our relationships are not just based on men and women. It's based on our children. It's based on our work relationships. Um, it's based on um, as we come and go in our communities. And watching ourselves, according to John, I take it in a manner is watch how we handle each other. You know, whatever you're going through, the other person may not be going through. And they may have a um, understanding for what you're going through. But when you impress yourself upon people or push yourself upon people, for instance, um, it can cause your relationship with um, others to be um, out of line. It can cause discord. Why? Because you're coming in in such a way that... People can understand what you're going through, but some people don't want the drama. Let's just say that, okay? So drama will detract and uh, subtract from your life. But as you realize that you're bringing drama into a situation, it will add to you. Um, when I look at Second John, it brings to mind Watch yourselves in your relationships with others and how you operate. Watch how you function in relationships, in conversations, in communication. Because what you say, how you respond, can make the difference in how the whole outcome of whatever you're discussing and whatever you're um, working at comes out. All right? Um, I hope that I'm clear in the boundaries because 2020 again should not be the place where we have resolved or put resolutions we should be resolving something every day and if you cross boundaries or someone cross boundaries that you have set then you have to stand up and use your voice and let them know that this is not functional this is dysfunction, and I'm not a part of dysfunction. But I tell you that we have to realize where we are operating in dysfunction. And I think I'll do a recording um, 
uh, maybe tomorrow about that as well. But thank you for listening. Have a blessed day and watch yourselves as John said. Watch for you because that's where self-development is. How you operate, how you come across to others. Why? Because that's what makes the difference in where we are concerning life. So here the scripture is again. Watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished. Because we're working a good work together. It's not singly. It's all of us. So that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. And that's the outcome of it all. The blessing of the reward. What are you looking for out of it? All right. Have a great day. A great evening. Blessings. Bye-bye.